Hello YouTube, Casella City Broadcast here, and we're going to talk about Johto Gym Leaders. The weakest part of the Johto region, including the remix, is the Gym Leaders in my opinion. Some people say it's the level curves or whatever, but like, um, that's understandable given the fact that there's two regions. and That could be, that could easily be fixed, which, but the major issue is the gyms. That they had a second chance to fix it and there was hardly any good changes in regard to the gym teams so we're gonna discuss our own potential gym teams if the hypothetical uh if johto gets another remake so how would the gyms should be like with all the new pokemon we have now um how would it look like if there was like a Gen 9 Johto game or Gen 10. So this is the what we kind of roughly came up with. And uh, for example, Faulkner is the first guy. He has Pidgey and Pidgeotto. Yeah, I have to say he needs a Johto bird. Exactly. How how we're in, in 2023 and this man doesn't have a Johto bird. So yeah, he's Pidgey level 9, Pidgeotto level 13. I think it should be uh, Hoot Hoot level 13 should be the ace. Yeah. I, I wish I could give him a knocktop, but then it'd be too, it'd be too big of a goal for, for our, exactly. uh, our first gym leader. Yes. So, Hoot Hoot level 13 I think would be fine, and instead of Pidgey, maybe Spearow would be a good... Uh, because the, the, um, difference between Spearow being like the, um, hot-headed bird, and then Hoot Hoot is a calm owl so it's like those those counterbalance each other well um i think i think that's smart i think that would be kind of cool uh especially pidgey usually gives off the pidgey is one of the first guys in kanto like it's just very kanto and this you know i think spiro you get a spiro in johto as as a partner pokemon uh but you have to give it back but some people decide to keep it so yeah, I think Spiro will be cool. Um, I also like the Spiro line, so that's that. Yeah, I know. You have a thing for the Spiro line. Um, second one is the Bug Type Gym in Azalea Town, Bugsy. Look, and I love, I love my my, my Bugsy. Is an Ace being Cider because Cider's my dude. Yes, that should be kept. So the team is. Although. No, it should be kept. There are cool Bug types, in Gen Two. Yes, but that should be kept. Really? Yes, the Scyther as the Ace should be kept. Because, um, Heracross, for example, is too strong. But, yeah, for a second gym. For a second gym. Yeah, Scyther is him, a, but, yeah. technically a stage one. I think Scyther is a good Ace. Well, how but, was, how was, how was but, but, Metapod and Kakuna, who are the other two, should not, shouldn't even be a team of three. It doesn't even make sense because, you know, the first guy is two and then already three. It should, instead of Metapod and Kakuna uh, that are level 15, it should be a level 15 uh, Spinarak. There we go. And then the Scyther level 17 should be 2 as well to count, you know, to make sense because the other one had 2 Pokemon. So Scyther's level 17 and instead of Metapod and Kakuna, trade those for a Spinarak. Because the Spinarak is, is, the, is in the maze of, of the, you know, Zelotown, the maze, the bug maze. You're climbing on these Spinarak that have threads, but there's no Spinarak used by the gym leader, so I think that was a wasted opportunity. Um, the third one's going to be tricky because on paper, it's a good team. It's a good team. It makes sense within the context of Harko Soul Silver and, and Golden Silver. Clefairy level 17, no level 19. Yeah, we, we didn't even say who the third one is because everyone knows. Right. <laughs> um, the problem now is in the modern Pokemon, Clefairy is a fairy type. But we don't want to remove Clefairy entirely because the entire gym is shaped like a Clefairy. So either two things will happen. The gym layout will change. The maze of the gym layout will change to represent a different Pokemon. That's normal. Because she is a normal type user, yeah. Yeah. Or adding a third Pokemon that's also a normal type. Also, can we discuss about the fact that we went from two Pokemon to three Pokemon to two back to two? Exactly. So it should have been two, two, three. Yes. So I think maybe adding a third Pokemon that's normal would be good. Okay. So the first option will be a third Pokemon that's normal. 
uh, my ideal will be Chansey, because Hapini's too weak and Blissey's too strong. Chansey's a bit of a wall and a healer, kind of like Milk Tank, but Chansey's offense is pretty bad, especially if you make it a low level like 17, which not many good moves will be learned around that time. So, yeah, basically have to, the, the train has to learn how to fight a wall. Um, that isn't very, that doesn't really hit hard. The other option will be removing Clefairy together and have a, a Chansey Milk Tank team. Uh, but then the maze of, you know, the shape of the gym will have to be a Chansey maze instead of Clefairy. So those are the two. It uh, really depends on what, if uh, this hypothetical what Game Freak will want. Will they want to remove Clefairy because of the fairy typing or they just have a third guy who's also normal to kind of balance things out and so, so she could keep her cutesy pink aesthetic, but also also have some normal representation. Exactly. So those are the two. Either or, I think would be, would be fine. Um, you know, be hilarious though if they have Whitney mention something other. Time. Because I think still Clefairy, her, her Clefairy is kind of a pushover, uh, and if it was a fairy type, it still wouldn't know that many moves because it's too low leveled at that point. Milk Tank, is, Milk Tank at the end is still the powerful ace that's like really hard to the unless you have a good fighting type, a good strategy. Um, because of its moves, Brawl Out, things Stomp, Milk Drink, you know. So like, Attract, it's just a powerful move, you know, move set. Oh, that would be hilarious. Chansey would just have like a healing move, maybe like a phys one physical move, things like, you know, whatever. Clefairy has his metronome strategy and... Things like that. So yeah, I I see a dynamic team there, um, but it's, it it is like a, it, it it worked perfectly in Hargo Soul Soul. Um, it was a good team. Oh, one more thing. It would be, it would be really funny if they 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 change her dialogue a little bit, they tweak it, and for her to say something along the lines of, "Oh, there was a there was a time where." Well, we thought that they were normal, but we found out they were actually fairy types. That could be, but also there was a timeline split. Um, because of the timeline stuff? That there's a timeline that the fairies exist and fairies don't because of the whole Kalos weapon thing? Right, but so you're telling me that they're gonna follow the... So... It would, you, That's the thing, at that point... If they, if they do a remake again, and they, and they follow the timeline where fairies exist. Where, where fairies exist, we could have this, but if they don't, then it will, I feel like this whole video will be pretty pointless. Yeah, um, but I think they will. I think if they do a remake, they they're gonna have to uh, acknowledge fairy types. Yeah. Yes, they have to at this point. There's no turning back after Gen Six. There was just no turning. Yeah, I think even Let's Go had the had the fairy, right? Clefairy was a fairy instead. I don't know. I never played it, but I don't. You don't remember? I don't remember if there was. I don't. I think they were. I don't think they did that. So there's no turning back on the fairy thing. So those are the two options. If there were, if there was a jo not a wow, Jotaro. I didn't remake. realize that Lasko had them. Yep. So there's no turning back from it at this point. Okay. What the hell? Now he has four Pokemon. How did we go from like? Yes. So the Ghost in Harko Soul Silver, the Ghost Gym Leader, has four Pokemon. Uh, one gas level 21, a hunter level 21, and a hunter level 23, a Gengar 25. That is a disgrace. <laughs> uh, what we're thinking, this is a remake by the way, remake, hello, remake? It should have been, for. it should be, um, hunter level 21, mischievous level 23. There we go, thank you. And Gengar level 25, Gengar will be... Yeah, like... Imagine because Gengar is just objectively stronger than Mischievous. Mischievous evolves, but um, Miss Magus is too strong. It would be too strong for a fourth gym, right? Yes. Especially that low. So yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't evolve. Ghastly there being there is pointless. Haunter and Gengar makes sense. Mischievous should have been there because it's a Johto Ghost type. It the new one will introduce Johto Ghost. Type. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. That's another thing that, that I was very upset about. Like you introduce new types, you introduce, you introduce uh, new 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 guys, and somehow they get no representation. Right. So Cyan Wood, I like the team of a primary level twenty nine with Polar for thirty one. Well, how did we go from four to two? Yeah, I think uh, they should have a third one. The three makes a lot of sense. Um, I think it should it should be. Primeape, level 29, 
Ma adding a match hook. Uh, level 29. Yeah, same level 29. And then Polyrath still being the ace. Yeah, I put it over the green days before. I, for the longest, I used to think it was Machoke Polyrath, but then it was like Primate Problem. Okay. So Machoke just makes sense being there. Yeah. Makes sense for him. Yeah. That makes it still too easy, the fact that there's only two. Yeah, his Polyrath is strong, but two? I, I don't know. know. Yeah. And then Another then disgrace, to, the next we, one. Then we go back to, to then we go back to three or something. Yeah. Like that. Uh, Olivine. Magnemite 30, another Magnemite 30, and then Steelix 35. What a weird imbalance of levels as well. Skarmory fucking exists. Um, so Skarmory should be... So it should be like Magnemite 32, Skarmory 33 or something, and then Steelix 35. I think that makes sense. Having the Magnemite, uh, the, the, you know... And then Skarmory, the middle, and Steelix is the ace. I think that makes sense. Because that's what that level got, 30, 30, and 35. It's just like, that's weird. That's a weird boss battle. Um, so yeah, have Skarmory. Like, level of Magnemite. Level of Magnemite. Have Skarmory there as the middle, and then Steelix is the Maybe ace. your Pokemon level uh, are 30, and then suddenly the, the, the main guy is level 35. And you're like, what? Yeah. Um, this one, seal, uh, Mahogany Town, Ice Type, Seal level 30, Dugong 32, and Pillow Swine 34. I think you should replace Ste Seal with Sneasel, level 32, keep Dugong and Pillow Swine. Yeah. It's not a bad team, it just Seal's just there for no reason. Um, it, it is, and... Uh, Sneasel, who's an, you know... The Ice Type the new, for... The new Ice Type for, for Johto. Again, God, same thing. Again, no yeah. representation. Exactly. So having yeah, Sneasel, Dugong, and Pillow Swan. Pretty much what, what we're trying to say is that those little changes of just the Johto representation from the Johto Pokemon that they they already introduced in the would Johto it, gym would leaders would fix a lot. Would, would fix a lot. Yeah. and make this a little more challenging. Yes. Again, these remakes we're probably gonna have the EXP all thing. They're probably gonna have to level love the Pokemon anyways, have them a little higher, have better teams, things like that to make up for it. Um, so... And again, back to three. Yeah, back to three. Blackthorn, the dragon one. This one, they were kind of, it was kind of done dirty because there just isn't much dragon types in neither Kanto or Johto. Right. So this one, I had to get a little creative. Uh, the original team in Hargo Soul Silver is two level 38 Dragonairs, 138 Gyarados, and a level 41 Kingdra. I think... Um, keep the team and replace Dragonair with uh, a Dundun Sparse because Dundun Sparse is Johto and Dundun Sparse is Gen 9 evolution of, of it, so having fully evolved guy. Uh, this is, by the way, not crazy, not Palde only. For those of you watching, Dundun Sparse is the official evolution of Dun of Dun Sparse. All right, it's the official evolution of Dun Sparse. So, it matches, uh, and Dundun Sparse may be a normal type, but he knows Dragon Rush um, as a natural move. It's not a TM. He learns, he learns a natural. Also, so having a, how was this? a Dundun Sparse, again, because Gyarados is not even Dragon either, so the, the rules are just different. Uh, having a Dundun Sparse of a Dragon type move and a Pokemon that's even though it's normal has some Dragon qualities to it. I that, think it makes sense. How about this and Dunsparce is an underrated Johto guy, so having a representation there, you know. And also Terra type. Terra type doesn't th will not exist in this remake. Uh, so having yeah. a normal type with a dragon type move, I think, would have been cool. If the Terra type would have been dragon, that would have been insane. That would be cool, but again, it wouldn't make sense because Terra type uh, doesn't exist. It only exists in Paldea. Um, I think the the rest of the team is fine. Dragonair, Gyarados, and Kingdra. Um, at those levels, or maybe higher because of the whole level thing. We don't want to discuss the level inflation that's going to happen. That, that should be up to Game Freak. But I'm saying the Dragonair, Gyarados, and and Dunder Spar should be around the same level, and Kingdra have the highest level. Kingdra being the, the top dog. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is that that bothered me with, with the gems, apart from the, the huge, you know, oversight of of the 
non-representation of Johto Pokemon is also just every time we kept going to the next one we somehow went from like two to three back to two back to yeah the, the amount of pokemon used also didn't make much sense in the progression i think it should be like two two three 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 all the way until the 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 last gym having four yeah um yeah because then at 84 the elite four has five each yeah. i think elite four is fine it's it's the gym leaders that suffer the most but i'm saying it's just in general, you will think. Yeah, because the Kanto gym leaders are pretty good. They're pretty good. I know that the Lieutenant Search team changes a lot. I know there's certain gym leaders that do change things up a bit. Koga is another one that they change a lot. Sabrina, uh, they change also. Right, but that's but true. the teams that's are true. fine. There's a lot of variety there to work with. Joto, you would think because there's even more variety because there's two regions, and there's like mostly Kanto guys. And that's ridiculous. Um, like, where's your Johto pride? <laughs> exactly. No, it's just sad because uh, of all the, the jo Johto, Johto mods that they introduce and not use them. And there's issues with the Pokédex itself where some of the Johto guys get introduced, um, show up post game and things like that. It's like, it's kind of weird what they did with the Johto decks. And I think that should also be fixed. The DAX, the level curve is going to be fixed because of the EXP all inevitably. They, the level stuff is going to be level inflation, things like that. That happens with at post um, and during Gen 6. No, no, Gen 7, they started inflating the levels. Um, Gen 6, they found that, that the reason Gen 6 was too easy was because the EXP all caused a level imbalance of ridiculous proportions. Gen 7 actually fixed it by making the levels higher. And by the end of the game, you're very high level. Um, then Gen 8 followed up with somewhat doing an okay job at it. Gen 9 did the same thing because of the open world. So I think we're at a good pace. Ledge Arcus also did a fine... Actually, Ledge Arcus, in some instances, I was underleveled. Yeah. Which was fascinating because I've never been underleveled in a Pokemon game in a long time. So um, I think that the level scaling could be easily fixed. That's just... Ba that's like, you know, basic math and, and testing and things like that. The main, the main part is making the teams make and sense. Make, teams make sense. sense, the moves make sense, all that stuff makes sense. Um, that's the biggest part because Fargo Soul Silver had another shot at it and they still failed, I think. The only thing they did was add, uh, make the levels a little bit higher uh, because the XP uh, distribution was different in Gen 4 than Gen 2. And this is not to rip on the Remix because we... The Remix did a great job and they added so much content, but the gym still suffered, I feel like. It could have been like I actually absolutely went, perfect. Yeah, I I went actually if you go back to to Hargo Soul Silver, play to pay attention to the gyms. It is kind of annoying. Um, repeats is a bad game design. Repeats like that is pretty yeah, don't bad. Don't copy and paste. That's one of the worst things that that Kanto did. Not for the gym leaders, but the, for the Elite Four, it was reversed. The Kanto Elite Four is pretty bad because it was a lot of repeats, and but the gym leaders are good. Well, on Johto is the opposite. I like the Johto Elite Four, but I did not like the the, the gym leaders with their repeats, which is poor, which is lazy. So that I would say that's my take on on that. Yeah, and and the, another thing is that the gym leaders for Johto not having Johto representation just feels like they're just part of Kanto. Yeah, and that's just ridiculous. Not, yeah, Johto just, should have its own identity as well. Yeah, because um, I feel it just, it just... Whether this this game, this remake, ends up having Kanto in it, um, that's up to them. Uh, Johto should still have its own identity. And not be so overshadowed by Kanto. Um, yeah, so yeah, of course there's going to be Kanto Pokemon in Johto, but it's just ridiculous how there's too much Kanto. Yeah, there we have it. All right, so that's that's the the take. Thanks for watching and uh, ponder on this, Pokemon fans, and have hey. a good one.